Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to It's My Lifestyle. I'm Elder Sharon Benson, and I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this is not your first time. Hopefully you've been with me before, but if it is, welcome. Glad to have you with us today. I want to uh, thank everybody for their support and their comments and for subscribing. If you haven't subscribing, haven't subscribed, please do so. That means so much. That means you can get notifications of the times that we've got new videos and new information that we want to share with you. This is all about positivity and, and uplifting the name of the Lord and giving encouragement and an upbuilding. This is not for negativity and tearing down. Um, the only thing uh, we want to do is tear down whatever the devil's doing. We want to upbuild um, everybody for the kingdom of God and let you know that God is on your side and you've got a lot to be happy about and a lot to be thankful for. On today, we've got another edition and I want to just encourage somebody today. And I got to ask some questions. And my question I want to ask you is... What are you eating? What are you eating? Now, you know, I'm not the one to put anybody on the weight loss journey because I'm on a weight loss journey myself. But what this is about is you have to take inventory of what goes in your mind and in your spirit. And sometimes if you listen to what's going on around you, your environment, it means a lot to what you think. You know, you are what you eat kind of thing because what we think about really is the core, it's the center of our belief system. It's what goes in. Garbage in is garbage out. You have to have good stuff going in in order for good stuff to come out. That's so true in the natural, and it's so true in the spiritual, that if you intake the garbage that the enemy likes to tell us, that's what you have. That's the result. That's the harvest that you yield. Because all the enemy wants you to do is think about what didn't happen, and what they said, and how they made you feel and how many years it's been like this and how he just wants that same sad song quit playing that same sad song that devil is a liar you can't listen to him i can't listen to him well you have to realize when he's on board and when he's saying everything negative, you know, you can't even say things positive in your spirit because in the back of your head, he's still playing some broken record from way back. You know how it is. You'll start thinking about something that happened when you were six years old and they said this about me or they said that about me and it's still in your head. And sometimes the people around you don't even know it, but they are dealing with you. But the you that they're dealing with is the seven-year-old you that's still playing this broken record of what somebody said about you or how somebody hurt your feelings and we never got up. Do you know that's an old wound? That is an old wound. That wound is 30, 40 years old now. That wound is 20 some years old now. And that enemy is still digging in that same wound because that's something that you heard and you have eaten that and put that in your spirit. But we cannot eat what the enemy is serving up. He's a liar. All he wants you to do is keep stumbling over that same stumbling block. You know, I saw something just this week. I was pulling up at a store and I saw a lady and I was looking for a parking space and I saw this lady had fallen and there was another lady with her that was trying to help her up off the ground. Well, I couldn't park fast enough and I was trying to get over there so I could be in of assistance because I couldn't tell how it happened. It just seemed like it was something weird that just kind of freakly happened. Well, the woman f ended up falling over a ramp in the parking lot and she didn't see it. And when I knew anything, she had scarred her face. It looked like she may have broken a tooth or two. And there was a big 
pool of blood on the floor, on the, on the ground rather. And by the time I parked and got over there, the young lady was helping her in the car. And I was so sorry. I said, I'm so sorry I couldn't get over here fast enough. Are you okay? Are you okay? And I want to pray for the lady. You know, she, you know, told me thank you for the prayer and all. But what my point is, sometimes the enemy will let something freakly happen. Something out of the blue to make you stumble. And sometimes the enemy is using an old stumble just to hinder your progress. You've got to get over what he's dishing out. You've got to put him in his place. Tell him he's a liar. Tell him he has no victory victory over you. Tell him you have dominion over him. But this is the deal. If you don't believe that in your spirit yet, he's not believing you. He only believes it when you believe it. He'll back down when you believe it. He knows the difference. He's watched you long enough. He knows your timing, your swag, your movement. He knows what happens and what you normally do when you have a change of mind and a change of heart. And he can tell when you really mean business about something. That's when he'll go somewhere and back down. So you've got to tell him, rise up. Greater is he that's on the inside of me than he that is in the world. Stop eating that devil's slop. Stop eating his trash, all of that old negative stuff he keeps saying over and over again. Put him in his place. Let him know you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not believe. You are a beneath. You are a lender, not a borrower. I don't care if you had to borrow money yesterday. I don't care if you had to borrow money this morning. You tell him you are a lender. And not a borrower. Listen, some of what we're dealing with is just a matter of time. Look, we have to deal with some things and circumstances. Some things are beyond our control. That does not negate the fact that you are victorious in every aspect of your life. And the moment you believe it, things will begin to turn. Certain things you can't see it turning, but it's beginning to turn. You tell the devil, it's beginning to turn. It's turning around. It's turning around for me. It's turning around for my children, for my husband, for my family, for my legacy. It's turning around. All right? And you cannot eat. You can't eat from everybody. You ever been to somebody's house? They say, oh, come on in, have some. And then the back, you really start asking, okay, who made the potato salad? Who made the, who made the, who made the dressing? Because you really want to know before you start digging in. Well, you know who's dishing this. You know who's serving this up. It's that devil. Put him in his place and declare victory over your life. You still got the victory. You still got it. And look, some people say fake it till you make it. Maybe. But you're not faking this. This is the truth. This is the truth from heaven. You still got the victory. Tell him and stop eating what that, that negativity that the enemy is serving up. God's got greater things for you. Tell him that. You can believe that. Till the next time, I'll see you real, real soon. Take care and have a victorious day.